Um, so I wanted to do a quick video just to show you through some of the bottle bottle options that I use when I'm out on trails and it's um, made me realise just how many different kind of types I do use depending on what I want to do. Um, I'm going to start with some of the smaller ones. Um, I'm actually quite a big fan of the kind of Hydra Pack uh, flexible flask bottles. This is an example of a, a Hydra Pack one that's um, a 20 fluid ounce one. Oh, he said, nearly losing it completely. Um, you can see it's got a little bite on the end for when you drink from it, you just put it in your mouth and squeeze. And you can also turn them on and off to just lock them off. Um, you might be worried about puncturing them, but actually they're really, really sturdy and it's actually very difficult to break them. Um, one of the things I like about these flexible bottles is that um, they're much more comfortable against your body when they're inside uh, a bag or on the front uh, of a pack that you're wearing. So um, that kind of helps as well. Um, and when, you're not, when they're not full, they obviously pack up quite small. Um, and then the final thing that I like about flexible ones in particular is that you can actually fill them up with air when they're empty and use them as a pillow um, or as a bit of an elevated thing for your feet or your legs when you're camping at night as well. So there's kind of a multi-use for them. Um, I also, with the ones that seal here, you can actually take the cap off and put things inside that you'd want to keep dry as well. So I can use them as a mini dry bag. So for example, you might keep tinder or things to make a fire or batteries or things that you need to keep dry you can also use these for so there's quite a few multiple uses for them um, as well as hydro pack um, ultimate direction make a version as well raid light make one um, and i'll come back to the b3 one in a second because it's a bit more special but you can see for ultimate direction and for raid light you can also get a version with a a straw on the end so the bite nozzle is just a little bit further down um, the reason i like these is it means if you're running with a pack where you can mount these on the front you don't have to keep getting the bottle out to drink. You can literally reach your mouth forward and just drink from them, which is super, super useful. Um, going on to the flexible bottles, Be Free also make a, a 20 and 30 ounce uh, bottle. The reason I particularly like these is they have a built-in filter. You can see just at the top there, um, just inside it. So you can fill up from anywhere. So for example, I'm here just at this little pond, um, but you can fill up from a, a flowing water stream and that will take out all of the bacteria um, automatically so you can literally drink straight from the bottle um, and I'll come back to some other water purification options as well here just towards the end of the video once you get away from the soft flask sort of area you've got the what I call harder bottles so this is an example of quite a large one this is a one litre so I think in American terms it'll be about 30 ounce bottle um, they also do them slightly smaller in that kind of size as well if you imagine my hands away um, the advantages of the bigger bottles is they're much more sturdy, they're much more less likely to break, but they have the same kind of nozzle you can drink from the top easily that don't leak. Um, and they're a little bit heavier than these Hydra Pack or these soft flasks as well. Um, one of the nice bottles that Ultimate Direction have been making in the last couple of years that's a little bit in between both is this little one. And it's kind of shaped, so again it's about a 20 ounce, but it's shaped flat on the back so that when it's against your body it's actually reasonably comfortable. So that's quite a nice intermediate between the soft flask and the harder bottles. And then as we get bigger, uh, I've given an example one here, of one made by the guys at 3V, but this one's obviously insulated. It's much heavier, much more sturdy. Um, but the nice thing about an insulated one is you can fill it with a cold drink all day on a summer's day and it'll keep your drink cool. Uh, or in the winter, you can fill it with a hot drink and it'll stay hot all day. So that kind of takes you up to the kind of top end of the sort of thing I might use. And then right at the top end is this crazy piece of kit from the guys at Lark. Um, this one's quite something. Um, so this water bottle is self-cleaning. So it has a laser built into the top, he said, pressing the button. It might be too bright for you to see, but there's actually a light blue glow just coming off the top of the lid there. Um, what it does is it fires a laser down inside uh, and every two hours it'll automatically turn itself on and purify the water inside the bottle. So this is effectively a self-cleaning bottle. I do a whole separate review on it. Um, but um, it's not a cheap bottle, but uh, it's ever such a cool piece of kit and it's self-cleaning so it literally never smells bad uh, and you recharge the laser from a little USB cable port you can just see on the top there. So that gives you a kind of top end. Um, from a water purification point of view as well on trail, I've just shown you my favourite personally is the, the B3 setup with Katadin. So you've got the filter built in, so all you have to do is fill up the bottle and you're off and you're good to go. Other people tend to like, um, this is the MSR trail shot. So the idea with this one is this goes into the, into the water at this end. You see the little things, you can drop that into the water and then you pump this pump here and the water purifies through a, a little um, 
filter that's just built into this. This isn't a bad device, but you can see it's quite big and heavy and bulky and doesn't provide any benefit other than the purification. So I actually prefer the catadin option because you can drink straight away. And then some people have talked about the life straw. Personally, I don't think this is an option for just drinking on trail. I think this is an emergency option. It's ever so lightweight, doesn't take up much space, but it's nightmarish to use on trail. It's not very long, so you've got to get right down near the water. Um, you have to suck incredibly hard to get water through, and you have to almost keep your tongue over the end to hold the pressure between gulps. Um, and I tried using this once uh, when I was crossing the two moors in the UK, and it was it was all right, but it wasn't brilliant. So for me, the life straw is an emergency measure. It doesn't weigh a lot. Uh, it's perfect to keep for that kind of thing, but to use as a, as a strategy on trail, I, I don't think it's that sensible. Um, and then the other thing that I've noticed that's the final thing to talk about is if you've already got some of these soft flasks, um, I've noticed that the Hydro Pack, the width of the Hydro Pack soft flask is exactly the same as the width of the Catadyne um, flexible bottles. So if you already have some of these flexible bottles, instead of spending about 40 bucks for a brand new Catadyne B3 uh, self-cleaning bottle, what you can do is just buy the replacement filter and cap which is only about 22 bucks, and screw it into your existing bottle. So that's quite a nice little hack to save money and get your water purification on trail. Um, but there you go, there's a little bit of a, a video I've done just to give you an idea of some of the different options. I obviously don't take them all at the same time, but this is everything I might use between the depth of the winter uh, and the height of the summer and everything in between. So I hope that's been useful.